Hi, welcome to lecture 6 in this series. Today we will talk about the theoretical basis of binding assays. We will discuss what is going on on a chemical and mathematical basis when an aptamer binds to a target molecule. Single-stranded DNA sequences are in flux among a broad array of options in terms of structure. Each molecule is bouncing back and forth between different forms. Binding only occurs when the structure that the DNA is in when it is associated with the target has a lower free energy than the free DNA. The speed of binding is not really determined by the affinity of the aptamer for the target. It is a function of the speed at which the molecules are moving in solution. Small molecules such as aptamers have higher diffusion coefficients than antibodies and thus have a higher probability of colliding with the target molecule in a given time than an antibody. The rate at which the complex between the target and the aptamer falls apart is what really determines the affinity of the binding. This is what you are selecting for in your aptamer selection process. The lower the free energy of this bound complex compared to the unbound molecules, the longer they will stay together. Of course, this can be described mathematically. Usually, we use the coefficient of disassociation. This is just the rate of the complex falling apart divided by the rate of it staying together. For aptamers, we look for KDs in the low nanomolar to high picomolar range, usually, depending on the target. Remember that we are not describing a static state. The whole system is still in flux. Aptamers are binding to the target and complexes are falling apart. What we are measuring is the level bound at equilibrium when the amount being bound equals the amount coming apart. Of course, with mathematics comes equations. These are just coupled differential equations. The rate constant for A is K on and B is for K off. By placing the aptamer and target concentration in these equations, you can solve for how much will be bound at equilibrium. You don't really need to know the rate constants in order for this to work. If you use rate constants that equal your KD values and you assume that you are measuring the system in equilibrium, everything will be fine. To be sure of this, use a K-off value that is close to zero and adjust your K-on value upwards so that your KD is right. Of course, if you have rate constants, that is even better. To solve these equations in this way, you need to use fairly sophisticated equation solving software. Why have we gone through all this basic stuff? You just want an aptamer that works. It is important to understand how your aptamer needs to work with your target before you start rather than after you have it. Aptamer selection is controlled evolution. To succeed, you need to know where you want the evolutionary process to take you. I will state this over and over. Aptamers are different than antibodies. To successfully develop a commercial ready aptamer, you need to start by understanding how it is going to be used then build this understanding into your selection strategy. Thanks for listening. If you have comments or questions, please contact us. In the next lecture, I will discuss binding assays on a more practical level. Beware, I really dislike binding assays involving immobilized targets.